Groups expressed dismay over Vice President Lenny Robredo's position supporting the anti-insurgency mandate of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict or NTF LCAP. She says, careless red tagging has placed the task force in a bad light. Robreda previously pushed to abolish the NTF LCAP. On Saturday, November 27, groups say they are disappointed with Robredo and ask her to talk to the victims of human rights violations in reassessing her stance. Makabayan chairperson and senatorial hopeful Neri Colmenares says, Robreda's seeming turnaround is worrisome. Colmenares tells Robredo, the problem with NTF Elca cannot be merely attributed to its careless members. He says it's a systemic policy that harasses and attacks anyone who is critical of the administration. Human rights group Karapatan also says that careless statements by the task force's members are only a minuscule part of the problem. Ibon Foundation Executive Director Sonny Africa also disagrees with Robredo. In a tweet, Africa says, Lieutenant General Antonio Parlade and Undersecretary Lorin Badoy weren't just being careless. They were doing exactly what the NTF LCAC was created to do, vilify anyone who didn't fit with the government's small-minded view of critical dissenters. In a joint statement, Labor bets for Senate Sonny Matula, Elmer Labog, and Colmenares ask Robredo to reconsider her position. Robredo spokesperson Barry Gutierrez later clarifies the vice president still wants NTF-LCAC to be abolished, but this was not apparent in her Friday statement.